My name is Dakota Lee. I'm 14 years old and I am the author of a novel called Flash of Freedom. I love horses, I love to write about horses, but I also love to teach people about how I write. And maybe not a little, maybe not, okay, maybe not so much about horses, but I love to teach them about what I write about. So I go and speak at schools and share with them my way of writing and my way of thinking. And I'm also going to speak at different places. I'm just having a blast here at this conference, meeting all these different people. I'm having so much fun. Well, I'd always been writing. I'd always been going, going out and, and you know, getting a notebook or something, and then figuring out a story. I'd go and write to page five, and I was so excited about it. And then I just drop off, uh -huh. <laughs> and I could never really understand because the story was so amazing to me in my head. But afterwards, you know, I don't even know where most of those notebooks are. So I was in fourth grade and I had just finished reading another horse novel and this one, it really amazed, it was Freedom, it was called Freedom by Angela Dorsey and it really amazed me because I, I couldn't guess the ending. Throughout the book I was like, oh my gosh, would that happen? Then something else happened that, wouldn't, that would contradict what I thought would happen, that never, I could always guess the endings and for this one, I couldn't. And when I finished it, I was like, wow, I want to write like that. So the next day I go into class and we have our free write journals that our teacher gives everyone in the class. Everyone got a standard issue, Com just a regular composition notebook, but I started writing in it. And this time I put horses into it and that's what sustained me long enough to, well, to finish and then publish and keep going. I'm Mary Ellen Lee and I'm the mom of Dakota Lee, the author. I tell you, for her at 14 to be able to do what she is doing, all the work happened when they were young. And uh, my husband and I decided that we didn't really like the way we were brought up. So he tossed his away, my tossed mine away, and we went to Growing Kids God's Way, which is a, a gfi.org is the, is the, um, the website for it. And we just followed it. And it was discipline. It was first time obedience. You know, you got to get away from the counting. One, two, three, get away. If, if they could do it on three, they can do it on zero. As soon as you say it, first time obedience. So when they were one, two, three, we were, we were like tyrants almost. I mean, yes, mommy. I mean, when we speak to you, everything, it was intense work at that time. Because what you're going to need to do is to add a one to every, uh, to where your kid is right now. If they're 12, I mean, if they're two, add a one to it. That's what they're going to be at 12. If they're, at, if they're screaming at you at four, add a one to it, they're going to be screaming at you at 14. So it's, it's work hard in the beginning. And then the fruit comes and they're not worrying about, oh, mom, I hate you, I hate you, and putting all their energy into rebellion as quote, is supposed to happen as a teenager, but it doesn't. If you do your work, and I want to encourage every single mom, be that mean one, be that no person, I don't care. Put your energy into your kids early on. Now, as a, as she grows up, there's a mutual respect. I'm coach, you know, and God is in it all too. Um, you know, that whole, the, what I'm supposed to do is to transfer my authority to God's authority in her life. So now she is guided by God and I'm guided by, by you know, by God too, but I'm a coach to her now. So, um, we talk about things. I mean, there's a lot of things that the business-wise sharing entrepreneurship and being her manager has been really tough because she's like, Mom, you don't mention anything about the business unless I mention it. And so I might have ideas, but i got to wait until she says something. I mean, the other day I remember her saying, Mom, it is a real detriment to our relationship when you bring up business. <laughs> it, you know, if she's not ready to hear it, because she's 14, you know, and i got to realize those boundaries. And so we're constantly coming up with boundaries. But I have a, a very good respect for her and her for me. A lot of, I'm sorry, will you please forgive me, coming from parents. I mean, it, it, you've got to be able to, to know when you're wrong, you know, and respect them. And uh, I think I think it happens when they you got to you got to work hard in the in the beginning and then you'll get the fruit in the end.